So what is going on YouTube, my name is Meho and welcome to your 11th Vue.js tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to loop over arrays and objects in Vue and basically all the iterables you can think of, I guess Vue provides support for them and uh, let's get into it. So let's just create a very simple application first so that we are able to visualize it in a better way, you know. So let me just add an input type of text here and just model it with the uh, let's just say um, text only why not right so now what we can do is just go to the script here get rid of this and we're gonna say text is uh, something empty right let's just get rid of this also so what we want to do essentially now is we would let the user type and I'm gonna display a list of words separated by space in different bullet points Right, so for whatever reason, you might be creating like a sort of a word counter or something like that, like the number of occurrences of a word or all that stuff. So, you know, you get the idea. But here I'm going to keep it real simple, not really a word counter, but just a string separated by um, spaces. So we're going to need a computed property again. Now I used computed and not a method because computed depends on the text one and uh, partially because we're going to make use of that in the loop also so what what i want is uh, i'm going to say my list is a method and what it would do is basically just return me this dot text dot split with a space right so now if you save this so if i type something like something anything split by a space so inside the internal state of view my um, list property actually contains the array of those three words right so what i want to do now is basically display them so how i'm going to do that is with v dash four now view makes it easy to iterate over iterables by just a simple syntax of dash in dash so dash your first dash is basically your temporary variable name which you're going to make use of and in dash is basically your um, variable name on which you're looping. So I'm going to say for word in my list. And I'm going to say just display word. Hit save. Let's see. We have nothing here. I'm going to say hello world. This is so freaking awesome. Something like that. So you see that I'm getting words displayed by um, in a bullet points which are separated by spaces now the reason for that is obviously because my list contains that which right? so i can just um, you know console log my list as well and um, this to text or split so this is essentially what would be visible to view inside its internal state hello world you can see the whole list available here with us so um so that's basically it, yeah. That's how you would um, very basically use a for loop. So um, what I want you to do is basically extend this to an um, application which displays a count here as well of the words. And basically we can do that. And actually let me just do it myself because that will let me just introduce you guys to the objects as well. It's basically the same. So I'm going to say word dot text and word dot count here right so what's happening here is that uh, what i want to do is basically instead of now just returning it like splitting and all that stuff what i want to do is create an array of here this dot text dot split right so now we have an array of words so what i'm gonna do is map over every word and uh, I'm gonna add it to or actually let me just think about it a little what we can do is basically create a set here or um, we can actually just go with the object approach as well all right so let's just keep it simple so what I'm gonna do here is say for each word I'm gonna say return or actually not return sorry for the confusion I'm just 
thinking while I'm coding. So um, we're gonna create an object here, and I'm gonna say object word is object word if it exists or null, right? And uh, or not null but zero. So I'm gonna say object of word plus plus, and finally I'm gonna return my object right here. It's save. All right. So now what we are doing is returning an object instead of an array and obviously what I want is object of word not just the word but to actually like this and I'm gonna say basically <laughs> What the hell am I even doing here? The text is my word, obviously, and uh, count is zero. And I'm gonna say object word dot count plus plus. All right. Okay. So now, if I type hello world, hello, how are 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 hello how are world you and all that stuff so you know you get the idea basically so let me just go through over what i've been doing crazy stuff here real quick so what we are doing here is that whenever i write something in here the v model updates the text inside the state right once the text changes the computed property is recalculated because its dependency changes and how it is recalculated is that first of all I split it on the basis of spaces then for each word inside that I'm creating an object I'm cre I've created an object and I'm gonna put that word inside that object as the key name so if it exists good if it does not then initialize it like that right and then I'm gonna increment it like that now here's a little twist we can actually avoid this redundancy of object um, after all an object inside an object kind of like that stuff so what we can do basically is just um, I can keep it to just count and I can do something like this as well but now we lost the track of the word itself right actually no because we are storing that word as the key name so if we if we are able to extract the name of the key here that would be good right so what we can do is to get the key out of an object I'm gonna do a similar approach but we're gonna say text here so the first argument right here which you pass is the value of that particular object right and the second argument is the key of that particular object and actually this should not be the case because my list my list is an object right yeah okay that would work I believe so word of and key or text whatever right so what we can do is say text here and count here so now if I do something like hello world hello hello how are you blah 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 you know so you get the idea how to actually create a s such system so yeah that's basically it I believe and I hope you learned how to use v for loop here. So again, we learned a couple of things, how to use the loop and how to get access to keys and values in object. And basically I trade over um, normal arrays as well. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video. Wait, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to become awesome by going at codedown.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.